Uh, this is a special day today, and it's really an honor to be able to introduce Morgan Burnett today uh, as he officially retires as a Packer. I think, as you know, we've done this for a number of players over the years, and <clears throat> we're an organization that takes great pride in how we treat our players, both active and alumni. You know, Morgan was an outstanding player for us, played eight years for us, uh, two years uh, after, uh, after us with, I believe, the Browns and the Steelers, working his way through the AFC North. Uh, amazing for, uh, for us, every single game he played in, he started. So 102 regular season games. You know, his statistics speak for themselves. He was a great all-around safety, he, uh, who played both the run and the pass well. Finished third all-time among safeties in the Packers' uh, history in terms of sacks. I think he had seven and a half sacks. <clears throat> um, most importantly, he was a winner. Our teams won consistently, and his leadership was crucial in that regard. In his eight years, we won the NFC North five times, uh, ten wins, ten wins uh, six times, and uh, of course, uh, he was part of the Super Bowl 45 championship team. He's an, uh, an extremely humble man, and uh, just uh, really enjoyed uh, getting to know him over the years. He was also a very quiet but strong leader uh, on our team. He and his wife, Nicolette, were very involved in the local community, were very active with a new community shelter, uh, feeding over 100 families. Uh, they also established the Burnett Family Foundation to help uh, youth in the Green Bay area. And he's also served as a spokesperson for, for ALS. We were pleased, uh, I think last year, 2021, he uh, went on a road trip uh, with us across the state, uh, raising money and bringing attention to different charities across the state. And uh, just it's really an honor and a pleasure for me to uh, uh, introduce Morgan. Morgan. Morgan, congratulations on your official retirement. Uh, man, it's, it feels great to be back here. Uh, it's truly an honor, you know, to really say that I, I retired as a Packer. Uh, just think about it, I'm kind of lost for words. I'm really grateful and thankful just to be part of such a great organization, to play majority of my career here, and just thankful for you guys taking the chance on a kid out of Atlanta, Georgia, from Georgia Tech. Didn't know anything about driving in the snow or driving on ice road. <laughs> But man, I really had a great time here. And I'm talking about Green Bay from the bottom of my heart and from my family heart. We just want to say thank you to all the fans, to my teammates, to coaches, staff, everybody. We really appreciate it. And I think this is really cool how you bring us back to really say that one time we finished. We started as a Packer. And I can really say now nah, I finished as a Packer. So thank you for the opportunity. This is truly a blessing. My wife and kids couldn't be here today. I tried to talk my wife and letting the kids skip school, but she wasn't having it. So, <laughs> so man, I'm really thankful. And uh, it's truly an honor, and I appreciate it very much. And uh, one thing about it is my love for Green Bay is always and forever. And I'm open to any questions. Morgan, why was this important to you to do this? Uh, I think it's just important, like, uh, just the way I was brought up about just starting something that you finish, and that's something that my agent and I, Kevin Connor, talk about it all the time. And I, I retired, and then I'm just sitting at home. But, you know, it's, I'm ripping and running with the kids. But I was like, man, it just doesn't feel right unless I retire as a Packer. I start as a Packer, and I feel good to really say I finished my career as a Packer. Morgan, what did that, well, first off, congratulations. But um, what did that 10 year run mean to you? You know, to be able to, obviously, starting it here for eight years in Green Bay, but everything you kind of had been through, your family had been through, to, to have that kind of run in the National Football League. Oh, it, it was special. It was fun. And really just being at home. When you're in the moment, you really don't have time to really stop and think about it because you talk to move on to the next week. But since I've been retired, I just really sit back and think about when I came to Green Bay, I was 21 years old, young kid, didn't really know much about anything as far as being a professional or being an adult. And I feel like here at Green Bay, I grew up here. I mean, I got married to my high school sweetheart. I had two of my three kids here, so I feel like I grew up here and I went from a young man to a grown man here, and uh, Green Bay holds a special place in my heart for not just me, but for my family as well. So did you have any close calls driving in the snow up here? No, I definitely did. I, I was, <laughs> I could tell a story. I never told nobody this story, but I remember my rookie year, 
guys, the trainers, and everybody was telling me, like, when you get to a red light, you can't slam on the brakes. You got to pump the brakes. So I was like, oh, man, I don't know what they mean by that. So I called. I was like, let me just give a practice run. So I called myself backing out of the driveway, and I got stuck at the stop sign. So I was stuck. I couldn't get my truck out. So now I'm panicking because I'm like, man, if I can't do this down the street, I don't think I can get to work in time. So my neighbor had to come shovel me out the snow, and he kind of gave me the rundown. Like, we kind of practice in the neighborhood, like pumping the brakes and make sure you don't slide and hit nobody. Well, you were part of the school team your rookie year. I mean, could you talk about what this locker room was like trying to get back, the process of trying to get back to that? Oh, the locker room was special. We had a special group, uh, guys that came to work every day. And I think the most important thing we had was we had good leaders, real good leaders. Uh, I was a young guy right along with Sam Shields, and we had a lot of veteran guys to look up to. And I think that kind of set the tone for our team. And we know how that year started out with just a lot of guys going on IR, including myself. But just seeing how we came closer together towards the end when it was crunch time to where it was like we couldn't lose anymore. And you've seen a group of guys come in and com make a commitment to each other. And I think that's what really made a difference. And that really carried over into us young guys as we became the older guys in the locker room. I think that Super Bowl team created a nice cycle that caused us to win a lot. There's one thing about playing for the Packers, but there's another thing of winning that Super Bowl with the Packers, right? I mean, it's a, it's a different feeling, something you get remembered forever because you were a part of that Super Bowl team. Just kind of speak to, you know, the legacy of that team and what they left behind and how special it was to be on, on that team in the earlier in the season. Uh, it's very special because just think about the time we're in right now where you have all 32 teams. I'm pretty sure if you sit them all down, they all saying, oh, we're going to win the Super Bowl. And just understanding that it's easy to say, but it's very hard just to get to the Super Bowl, let alone win it. And to do it here in Green Bay, I mean, that's very special. Uh, the trophy is named after the legendary coach. So we believe that that trophy belongs home here. So uh, I think it was very special and memorable. And uh, when you do something like that, that's legendary. That's greatness, and that's something that carries on forever. So uh, I think that was very special, and that's something that we always cherish. Morgan, what, what are you most proud of about your career? Uh, the most thing I'm proud of is just, it's not even the accolades, it's just more so now you hear the phone calls from your teammates just about how good of a teammate you were. So I took very much pride in that of just being a teammate, being the guy that my teammates can rely on, being an accountable guy. And just when you hear those phone calls and you talk to your teammates and they talk about your leadership and how you might have helped them out in some type of way or just being there for them as a teammate and someone that they always trust. And I think that's what I stand on and that's what I believe in is just being an accountable person and someone that somebody can trust. Morgan, when you go back to, you know, Dom, they start doing the nitro thing, they move you down in the box. Remember what your mindset was like with that and why do you think that ended up being so successful when you end up playing a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage? Uh, honestly, just, you know, when you do something for so long and then someone asks you to do something new, uh, I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous about it, a little hesitant about it. But uh, I had great coaches like Darren Perry just constantly in my ear and just giving me that confidence and that extra boost that I needed. And then when I just went out there and let loose and actually found out that it could work for me, but that falls back into just being accountable as a teammate. I felt like my team needed me to do that. So I had to put the team before myself, and it actually worked out for us all. Was there a former teammate that maybe when you were a young guy took you under you know, their wing a little bit and showed you the ropes? Anybody that stands out here in Green Bay? Yeah, it was uh, Nick Collins and uh, Tremont Williams. Uh, like I said, Sam Shields and I was very close, and we was the young guys, the rookies that were playing, the rookies that were called on to start. And those guys kind of took us under their wings immediately showed us the rope of just about being a pro on the field and off the field. And I'm uh, still close to those guys to this day, still my big brothers. And I call them for all kinds of things. It could be marriage advice, uh, help with the kids, football. But uh, those guys really took me under their wings and really helped me out throughout my career. A couple more uh, pack of road trips in you still? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm open for it now. I'm at, I'm at home, I got plenty of time on my hands, so I'm open for it. How's the youth football going? Right now? No, it's good. So I, um, 
I tried my son, his oldest son, MJ, is in middle school now. So I started coaching his seventh grade team. It went well. So now I'm coaching the eighth grade. So it's fun. Coaching is it's, it's different from being from being a player. So now you really got to put your trust into the players. Sometimes they believe me. Sometimes they look at me like I'm crazy. So I got to pull up. If, even if I pull up information and pictures on myself, I still have to show them that I can do it. So the good thing about coaching, you only have to show one rep and they have <laughs> to make them believe you. But it's fun, man. I enjoy it. And I enjoy coaching the kids and passing off any knowledge that I can. Morgan, I remember a play, Julius Peppers had a pick six, and he goes to the end zone, and you're like, you got a Lambeau leap, right? And that's the kind of the culture here in Green Bay where it's unique here at Lambeau Field. Just kind of talk to about the culture here and how it was different from other places that you went. Oh, no, it's definitely different. Just from the, just from the game standpoint, from the fans and the atmosphere of game day, but also inside the building where guys, doesn't, they don't see from the training room, to the weight room, to the staff in the kitchen, it's completely different, man. When I say first class, I really mean it's first class. And uh, it, Green Bay is a special place. And I think, honestly, in my heart, it's the best organization, not just football, but in sports. I honestly believe that. And uh, with the Julius Pepper story, with the Lambo Leap, I told him to go jump. But a tip you need to know is don't jump towards the tunnel. You always got to go behind the goal post. The wall's a little shorter. And he found out the hard way. <laughs> Any further questions? Greg Jennings going in the Hall of Fame tomorrow. I know you played with him towards the back end of his time in Green Bay or vice versa. But yeah, just uh, when you see him going in tomorrow. I think that's special. Just, uh, that's big congrats to him. Well deserved. I mean, he earned it. He's another guy, a professional that did it the right way. Brought his hard hat to work every day. And I kind of judge guys more so of how they practice, their practice habit. And he was a guy that ran every route the same, and he came ready to compete. And so, like I say, man, to see his accolades continue to grow, man, that's well-deserved and big congrats to him.